It's the Chris Gethard Show! <laughs> Playing us in, as always, the greatest house band in the history of public access, the LLC. Featuring internet liaison, Bethany Hall, the mustachioed human fish. A bunch of other people are going to be hanging and banging. We got Field Mouse here to crank out some jams. I'm Murph, and I'm wearing jeans for the first time in 20 years. <laughs> Let's give it up for Chris Gather. Chris Gethard, want to say hi to everybody watching live on MNN, everybody who might be watching live at thechrisgethardshow.com, and anyone who might be downloading this in the future. Very, very exciting night. Um, already a strange vibe in the studio. I think we can all recognize that. The audience was seated 10 seconds before we went live. Everyone's feeling overwhelmed I, I and shell shocked, and that's only going to continue because, ladies and gentlemen, tonight am I, am I we are presenting now? JD's oh, okay. Nightmare. Okay, let's watch the show now. This is probably the best LLC song <laughs> because Chris is always so concerned about that LLC show. Oh, and here's Brandon Crack too, trying to get his uh, face done again. Also, right off the bat, I'll just say this my shot here is bad. This is a bad shot. You can't see me well, so I'm going to pick my own shot. Okay. So my shot should be As better now. As you can now. see, chaos is uh, is the name of the game tonight. For anybody I think there's who honestly a delay between show, myself, uh, my audio, Amato and my video. Is the director of our show. I think everyone involved in the show would say that he is the reason shows happen more than even I am. Without Chris Gethard, the Chris Gethard show can still function. Without JD Amato, it really can't. It really can't. He plans everything. He directs every episode. He's also something of a micromanager, and he has been at times called Fuck evil you. for his dictatorial ways. So tonight we're doing an episode called JD's Nightmare. Um, and it's basically this. You should be able to see JD on your screen right now in the corner. He is in his own room. He has a microphone. Great graphic. He is not allowed to Good have job. any hands-on involvement in the show. We have planned nothing because he is an organized man. So the idea that we plan nothing, he already hates that. You will be able to see and hear his commentary on this show as it happens. It's probably already beginning. Know that it is legit. We are not letting him help in any way. Um, who is directing the show? I think a lot of people, himself included, a lot of our fans thought that it would be Jersey Dave because Jersey Dave is probably the, the second in command yeah, in Jersey many Dave ways as people who watch the show. The one no. in charge but that everything. is not JD's nightmare. Ladies and gentlemen, instead, to make sure this is JD's nightmare, directing our show tonight is the one, the only, the fan favorite, the most bizarre man in the TCJS family. Tonight's episode directed by Hot Dog Parish, ladies and gentlemen. This is literally going to be a nightmare. Parish. Hot Dog's calling all our camera cuts. He's making Parish all the make decisions. Like insane decisions. I think this decisions. is the first JD he's learning this. Hot Dog, there is a camera in there with you and a mic, I believe. How are you feeling tonight, Hot Dog? Can we hear you? I think we're doing awesome in here. Hot Dog already Doesn't killing it as a director, not sending his own audio into the studio. Oh. What? 
<laughs> what was that hot dog? Oh, that wasn't me. That wasn't hot dog. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, it's just some uh, ghosts we keep in here. <laughs> so at the, crazy you're person. already you blaming your director deficiencies on ghosts. I met Andrew. Andrew and I know each other. From college. <laughs> That is the man directing our show tonight. As you can see, also, so a large mem number of the cast so has not insane. even shown up yet. <laughs> Shannon O'Neill said she was going to be here, not here. Is Bethany this where the show is? Shannon, this is not where the show is. Your mic when I move on. Also, no sign of Andy Sandy. Yes, that's right. Oh, man, if your audio is not syncing up with this, it's amazing. It's not. It's right right like there. three and seconds behind. I'll point this out. Here's my first critique. I feel like Shannon, you just always try to whatever. You always try to subvert whatever the concept is. No. See, and then she doesn't want to get real. Right. So there we she really is running haven't away. Anything about what this show is going to be? There's she wants to break the rules and run away. Phones are yours tonight. That's that. Anything any of you guys want to talk about? Okay. Before we get going, uh, chat rats want to be called the field right rats. Here? They cannot. They're called the chat rats. <laughs> field rats. One thing I'll say about the calls tonight: we want as many calls as we can. We'll get through a whole bunch. That being said, though, do not lie because our newest friend who made his stunning debut randomly... Shannon, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Look at this man, my jam on the yeah. block. Shannon O'Neill! Yeah. 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 I had your basketball game back. And so I'm in not great spirits right now. I'm late. I had a championship basketball game. We lost to an all Asian. And so I will say this is that <laughs> in watching this show right now, it's not really a nightmare. This is actually a coach. You don't have a coach in a rec league. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird. I just checked normally in on JD because I thought the show stuff. was in that studio. What's she saying? And uh, his, you're like, this audio is going like direct to the TV, and his is on a delay. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. he's talking, but then he can't even see his audio does not like his. So like, he's effectively his video getting... and his audio are like five seconds behind. <laughs> yeah. With, yeah. So his critique so, is like five seconds so late. The audience <laughs> is now watching him give a director's commentary that does not sync with what they are watching. Here's something to keep in mind, <laughs> fans, is that if you watch yes, really episodes, Chris and the rest of the uh, cast are Shannon really bad at finding their camera. Chat be called Asian rat. Uh, basically, when you have multi-camera <laughs> okay. set up, Great, you can cut to a camera and you'll see. The light turn Everyone on to see what camera is active. You are now known by the very racist term Asian <laughs> Rex. And Chris Asian and the rest Rex. of the cast are notoriously bad at finding. If you watch the early episodes, they will look directly into whatever camera they choose, and it is almost always not the right camera. And then over time, you can see who's good at picking up on this. I would say anybody who starts tonight, make sure you tell the cameras. truth because this guy showed up last week. He can Chris sense has gotten truth. Okay he can sense lies. Shannon if you try to lie, okay I won't it. trigger it. You, the you call your own shots, my man. What are you going to tell him? Bad at You're a liar! You're, are okay. you going to do it sitting down like that? No, no, no. How are you going to do it? Stand See, right here, this guy is in charge of the camera. This guy. And honestly, that was on Paris. That's the right great. Camera. Just I want to camera. say something before we get started. And this might be a bummer ready, note to start the episode also, on, but I'm not, this. certainly not above that. Patrick Cotton is doing something that's driving me nuts. Here, and I, 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 I don't know headphones. where she is. She didn't let us know if she's coming or not. We have no way of getting in touch with her because she's random. But I will say this. There's been a bunch of our friends online who have emailed us and said, oh, here's how you can get out of random time if you want. I noticed last week in the chat room people saying some stuff. This is really disappointing to me because we if we talking, always say we're about the underdog, the that and we're yeah. always about people who are different. He will leave like is not all this this person, space ahead of very so your different. eye gets drawn um, towards so someone in the background. I don't get it, and I'm, I'm disappointed by it. I think it's hypocritical. It just she's bothers great. me. I think she's it awesome. It bothers me yeah. because I've been telling him not to do that for two years, and he's never, ever, ever decided to do that. That's a fascinating one. That's a fascinating one. Wait, did a member of the Asian rats take her down? Some of the Asian rats last week were like, I don't know if I can take 13 more weeks of this. And I'm like, well, um, I bet a lot right of people now. in your lives can't take 13 weeks of you. That That's why we're all here. <laughs> that's why we're all here, because people can't take 13 weeks of me either. And we get that woman's back, because that's what we do. And the chat rats picked her. I gotta say, Asian rats, so I'm, I'm, like I am a little disappointed by some other remarks. Right? Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. We're about the underdogs, and you guys are gonna be fucking cool kids all of a sudden get the fuck out of my chat. That's true. That's true. That's part of the game, man. We don't pick and choose. We don't pick and choose. You're doing not live also, please mute JD. <laughs> oh, the chat rats already want mine. JD's <laughs> audio turned off. Let's go ahead, now that that unpleasant note's uh, out of the way, let's go ahead to Biff in Pennsylvania. Biff, how are you? Let's put the calling up, Dave. If you want to call, let's put the calling up. Hot That's dog, you gotta, you gotta go. turn on the phones. <laughs> let's get the calls up. Hot dog, turn on the phones. Biff, are you there? Yeah. Hey, Biff, what's up? What do you want to talk about tonight? The floor is yours. I'm gonna listen for a second. Chris, how you doing? 
pretty good. I've been actually vomiting all day. For two days I've been vomiting. Yeah, no, it's okay. I do promise if I vomit, I will do it on the air. If you ever ask what Chris is doing, the answer is never just good. Hey, I just wanted to say, uh, the guy asked me for where I was from on the phone. He wouldn't let me say uh, 44 Pennsylvania, but I'm calling from 44. That's Murph territory. Is this Biff sweater? Biff sweater in the house. Oh, 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 Wait, Biff, Biff sweater, an old friend of Murph's whose name is Biff sweater. <laughs> Murph, take the, take the call, Murph. This is your friend. What do you guys want to catch up What's about? What's happening, brother? What's going hey, on? I, I, I just wanted to ask you, Chris. Uh, I know you're a Knicks fan. Hello. What do you think about Murph changing governments, going from the 76ers to the Knicks? Here's what I'll say about this episode, well, too. Well, I've been trying this to ease off Philly be since I wrote a controversial is, article oh, that backfired in my face. I'm but, um, <laughs> I will oh, tell you this, go. Biff. I understand a man's there, urge Dave. to not root for the 76ers, a team that's actively tanking in a way that insults their own fan base. Losing games on purpose to try to get a higher draft This is not going to be a disaster of an episode. This is going to be a fine episode. All right, Biff Sweater, thank you so much for the call. Biff, you wrong. knew as soon as I moved to New York, I was going to uh, jump. Into, I mean, I've always been a Yankees fan, but you know I was going to be And in fact, this is not my nightmare. This is really Dave's nightmare. Let's go to Steve and Pittsburgh. We're covering Pennsylvania. Heading west. More tweets? Oh, right now it's just sending through the... More tweets? We need more tweets? Can you hear me? Yes, Steve, what's up? Oh, I can barely hear you because JD's is talking the entire time. But I know who wants to So they're telling me JD's audio floods the phones as you try to make calls. Hot you got to fix that right now, man. Hot you got to fix that. I think it's good now. Okay. A few things that I wanted to bring up. First off, all of the chat rats are calling for a random swap. Since Sandy's not there, we want... Um, tracksuit to be the new random. Hey, guess what, Steve? Sandy's the random. That's how Here's it goes. Random Onisha was the random for 15 yeah, weeks. Yeah, she was there when we replaced her. That's not how the random works. The random don't replace her. Right now, if you're, if you're watching the Get Them Show right now, um, but I, call you me and ask me questions. First I'll first do a Q&A right, right here. Forget the rest of this episode. Because honestly, Chris was like, oh, this will be an episode where you get some FaceTime. I want to get you in front of the camera. That's um, not what's I going on. I mean, that's barely what's going on. They're my favorite band. I love them to death. Fucking awesome. Look at so, that. Yes, if you're a caller, call in right now. Nice and let's get a Q&A going um, with, with the real king of the show, J.D. Amato. Because Chris Malcolm, puts on this Steven whole show Stan of him Front being Bottoms this here, Mr. Fans, Good really, really Guy, embrace and go Mr. Forth. Show Guy. And my guess is that Field Mouse is going to be added to that lineage in just a few minutes. But it's the Chris Gethard show. Let's do it. Everything's Chris Gethard. Steve, remember the Field Mouse are right here. I'm not going to pretend they're not right here listening. Where's everyone else's show? Would any member of Field Mouse like to come take this call? Doesn't exist. Do you want to talk to your favorite band, Steve? Connor, Steve, are you good still there? Here. Yeah, Connor Rapp. Still here. Okay, new, yeah, we got Andrew from Field Mouse. He's right there. You can tell him. Hey, Andrew. What's going on? Nothing. I'm just having fun. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm just watching Chris. I'm, I'm wondering why this the camera's not panning over. Happening. No, it's fine. It's going great. Two people. I actually do like it when people interact. Not I wish show. I would talk about interact you with the live audience. I don't think that it's my show. I don't think that that's true. <laughs> I clearly don't give a shit about it, so feel free, Andrew. Well, I'd like to talk about this government we got. <laughs> feel free. Okay. Andrew from Field Knows, if you'd like to think go about on it, this is very much not my nightmare. Yours. I and think more they're more all feels just like doing the best they can. I'm just being edged out of the show. <laughs> is what it feels like, honestly. <laughs> We're all just trying to make it in this crazy world. Caller, so. you should call in. Not my president. <laughs> you should call in. All right, Steve, anything no, no. else? Um, I want to give tired. a shout out to uh, JD because he, he probably needs some loving tonight. I think so. Oh, you got to do a shout down it? now. How's shout he taking it? And I got a shout down um, just because I want to be a nice guy Thank to you. JD. I have to shout down Hot Dog, even though he's doing a great job. Okay, hot dog not killing it. Yeah, okay. Now wait. Steve, let me ask you this. Is JD's audio really annoying? Should we just watch the video? No, not on the call anymore, but um, whenever but, I was connected, like I couldn't hear a word you guys were saying. People is say the it's episode impossible Bentley, to understand what's the, happening. Yeah, hot dog, let's kill JD's audio and just watch his video reactions. <laughs> I'm gonna make that I'm gonna and call they keep that saying audible. Hot dog, they keep saying more circle wipes, which means in Hot Dog wait, what do they mean more circle wipes? <laughs> JD yeah, uses circle wipes. They on, want the JD uh, technical circle wipes. But let's kill JD's audio and just do his video so that the episode is comprehensible. <laughs> let's do it, okay? I'm going to make that audible. And there ain't shit JD can do about it. <laughs> right, you, should send, you guys should send some people into his room randomly. 
Great so idea. Great idea. Great idea. <laughs> who is here? Who, who's, is there anybody here who, who really, well, Julie, he knows you. Is there anybody who's never met JD? Okay, who wants to go hang out with him? Okay, how many people should we send, Shannon? Uh, Shannon, Shannon Murph, let's each, and Fish, let's each pick one person. Whoever wants to go, bother JD. What's that? So let's get Why that one? Let them know that I'm hiding. I'm going to be hiding. Okay, this guy. <laughs> no, not you. Okay, this guy picks you. You're going to go hang out with JD. Wait, That's my pick. Look, look at that oh, yeah, this guy, this yeah. guy, this guy. Okay, let's go. Miss, miss what's like your Kelly name? What's your name? Aaron, nice to meet you. Sarah, what's your name? Oh, John Henry. Oh, I, I know you. Yeah, this, this student that we go by. Who else? Who else? This guy was ready. Okay, this guy. What's your name? James. James. Good I to was, see you. I was half of the underwear with him two weeks ago. Oh, perfect. Great. <laughs> Makes total sense. Okay. Who else? Who else has a pick? Fish? Fish, let's pick one. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, what's your name? Sam. Sam. Okay, you guys can go back there and watch the rest of the episode with JD. Feel free. You can say and do whatever you want to. I'm Steve yeah. from Pittsburgh. Great that girl, call. That girl too. Why not? Yeah, okay, go we're gonna it. send another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I have no idea if it'll be more or less fun there, but you can bother a man. I can promise you that. <laughs> you can bother a man. Is someone showing them where to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The door's Good. open. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much, Steve, from Pittsburgh. Let's go to Royce and Chris in San Francisco. Hey, how's it going? Our old pals. Hey guys, is this episode comprehensible? It was worse than ruin the show for the first day. Yeah. It was worse than ruin the show? It was in, in, in terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> Still, it. even with the audio turned off on JD's mic? He's back here. He's back here. He's back here. I got him. <laughs> oh, JD's Stop. yelling right now. JD, you he can hear JD yelling people? from the other room. Royce and Chris, talk to me here. What's that? He is hidden in the room. They can't JD, wait. <laughs> JD is apparently hiding. So there's just five random audience members on a different camera now. Wait, I need the audio. Hot dog, you gotta turn up the audio on the phone. We can't hear these guys. Are you guys there? This one. Yeah, we're right here. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Now there's feedback, hot dog. Hot dog, get it together. Royce and Chris, so you're saying this episode is the up, worst guys? one we've ever done. Yeah, it's the first episode. And now we turned off JD's audio. Has it gotten any better Dave, since then? Make the... well, it's a lot better now. It's a lot better. Okay, better. so do you think we can gut this one out? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, that's great. So how are you guys doing? We're good. We're huge fans of Field Mouse. Awesome. Look yeah. at this. It's the Field Mouse Appreciation Hour. That's what happens when you kick JD out. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your favorite. Let's get another show. member of Field Mouse. Royce, because you're going to talk to another member of Field Mouse. Can I double cross uh, Okay, you. let's get it going. So, Royce, okay. don't tell us. You can tell the Here's what's going to happen. I need one of you and you to go back into Chris's and to the main room and tell them that I am taking over. Because Chris interfered with my box, my box is now going to take over the show. What's your podcast? You two, okay. You two, go in there. Let them know what's happening. It's okay. I don't. Don't look at me. Are we turning the audio on? Do you want Mike? You go. Okay, Royce, Chris, you got it. You got it. No, go and do it right now. What's the pitch on the podcast? Um, it's it's a bunch of cool people. Do it now. Hanging out. This war has just begun. Andres tells weird stories about. Oh wait, this is teens. This is this is teens talking TCGS. A number of our teenage fans get together and they have a, a weekly chat. I'm in. They have not. I'm so in. They have not invited me to be our a part of it. We had no people so we, Our what? strategies, we're taking we over and we're. we're you fucking keep on flaking, flaking on us. Day, okay. What do you say? Uh, Who's lying? Am I the liar you, or are they the liar? One of you. Say it go again, right. Bruce. <laughs> say it again, Bruce. He's getting charged up. <laughs> Hot dog, cover his face with our box. <laughs> cover his face with our box. Royce, right say now. it again. You're a liar! <laughs> Royce, you said you're lying. What's up? We're taking over the show. No, you're not. <laughs> no, JD. Box is going to be bigger no, than your box. JD has no. JD He's has not, not authority. To go back there and tell him, I know it's frustrating, but he can no longer do things like that. <laughs> you go back there and tell him, I said no. No, 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 no. Go back there and our tell him, I said gonna, no. Our box is going to fill the box of the other show. That guy, that guy was psyched to be able to come out here and take over, and he was like, yeah, Pat. He, he no. was confident when he did it, but also tough shit. He apparently thinks JD still has some sway around these parts. I have all the sway around and these And that just ain't the case, Amato. So do what you will, but I heard you don't you guys get to got call scared. the tonight. You went out Send there and you got scared. Your lackeys out here. They ain't gonna we have, have to any take over the show. We're gonna take over the show. I'm above it now, okay? You can't Our touch strategy me now, is. Amato. At 12:01 a.m., we'll talk. Right now, pipe down, Amato. 
Okay. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Question from, from, the, question from the Asian rats for the human fish. Pterodactyl <laughs> army versus terracotta. Here's what I want to have. Pterodactyl <laughs> army versus terracotta <laughs> army. Who wins? Wait, terracotta. Terracotta army. That's yeah. okay. Though. All right. Me and Howie just recently watched a documentary about the alternative. Here's what should happen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead to okay. Paige in Tennessee. Our I want you guys Paige, to go into the main room and recruit any audience members that want to be part the of the phone. JD Amato yeah. to come into the Can JD Amato show. And we we're going to start our show here. Can we? Okay. 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 We're allowed to. JD wouldn't like it if we danced. LSC, can we have dance music so Bethany can dance? Anyone can join if you want. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm going to warn you right now. They're both they're coming back shirtless. Okay. Let's do it, Bethany. You can uh, dance. Yeah. Right. I need some minions? music. Oh, this is becoming a war between us and Jamie. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is horrible. This is supposed to be me doing it. It's crazy. And we've got cupcakes, nipples, nipples, two of them. You cannot be heard. There's no microphone where you are standing. I am loud enough. We are here for the audience. We aren't here for the microphone. We are here for the people. Can we have a microphone? My merch. <laughs> No, 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 you cannot have a We cannot no, give you a microphone. I need anyone from the audience <laughs> okay, to come into that cross. room and okay. take over the show. You. you were perfectly I know, normal fine. people. I told you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I feel like this is a great idea. As many shirtless people that want to go in there and just hover around. Yes. Jamie's asking for it. Yeah, Jamie's asking for it. Anyone who wants to be shirtless. Who wants to hold take on. Their... Orlando, hold on. You have to take your shirt off, though. Anybody who wants to be shirtless and hang out with JD, please. Let's yeah. run into it. We got one more shirt. Yeah. Exactly right. Anybody else? You gotta get your gloves. I'm gonna get all Chris's shirt into our show. This guy's going for it? Okay. Are you going over? This guy's got lab tattoos. Welcome to the good team. Okay. <laughs> Remember Welcome to, to the get good very team. close to him and just hug him. Yeah, Jamie wants a shirtless takeover. Do it, Herman! That's, 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 that's not a rule that I put on any of this. That is something that he put on. We are welcome to be. Let's make it happen. That's fine. Let's Don't do touch him. What? Murph, what side are you on? Right now. Here. Yeah, Murph, what's your story? <laughs> I just saw people get shirtless if I could. Fuck it, okay. any excuse. All right, it's me. Wait, Noah, okay. will you tell me we've got to do something? The band. The band. All right, that's, that's awesome. Ladies Don't listen to him. I'm so, He's so psyched that these guys are here. We've already gotten multiple calls that these are people's favorite band, which I think is a first in this year of our show. I think everybody's going to enjoy it and dance and have fun. They have a show in Brooklyn at Cameo on May 26th. Their new album's out in July. Let's everybody dance. Let's everybody wait. Get up. Everyone get up wait off here. your feet. Let's get going for Field Mouse. <laughs> Fingers 
Legendary performance. Legendary performance. Wow, legendary. All right, let's keep it going. Dad's not here to yell at us. Anything anybody wants to do? Dance! We just danced, Bethany. We just danced. Is Paige there? Is Paige on the phone yet? Okay, let's try. Well, it still says Steve from Pittsburgh. Is there another Steve from Pennsylvania on line one? Our first order of business is to build a structure. Steve, a structure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, new Steve. Pennsylvania coming hard. Men, men named no, Steve from Pennsylvania want, coming no hard to the show needed. tonight. Steve, yes. what do you want to talk about tonight? Someone, uh, I don't know. I just <laughs> got a couple of suggestions. Uh, That's step one. Okay. Maybe if uh, and then the Mimi on the hoops could dance making, up front in front of everybody. Oh, Mimi on the hoops up front. Mimi. Woo! JD ain't here. Wait, let's take this up. Yeah, no, this guy called up. He says JD's not here. JD doesn't get to organize the show. He wants you up front for the rest of the show. How's that sound? Okay. Yeah. Mimi on the hoops. Let's clear some room. Mimi's up here yeah. for the rest of the show. JD's yeah, nightmare. Just ignore, we're just going to ignore that tape for so Mimi can. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's tape people aren't allowed to sit in. JD puts it there. Sit in the tape if you guys want. I don't know what it's there for. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mimi, right here. Right here. Yeah, right here. Right on camera. Yeah. Mimi, dreams yeah. do come true. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Steven Pepper. All right, Mimi on the hoops. Steve, you said you had a few suggestions. What else? What are your other suggestions? Yeah, uh, another one, maybe maybe a couple people sitting back there to uh, turn around and have their back to the camera the whole time. People, anybody want to turn your back to the camera the whole time? Who's, what's that? Okay, these guys up there, I'll do that. Okay, people with their back to the camera. Great call, Steve. This is truly the nightmare of J.D. Amato visually. Also, thank you, fellas, for opting to come all the way here and then face a wall. Thank you for that. What's that? And I just want to be clear. Yeah, these guys the will run their own show in the corner. Steve, what else? I love these suggestions, Steve. And then, and then uh, maybe at the end, bring out JD on the so chair. Like, everybody lift him up like it's a bar mitzvah. Ooh, uh, don't let me forget that. That's a great call. Steve, this was an amazing call. You added to the effect of, of yeah, killing JD. Now, you've been able to see him. We have not. Is he, is he, un, is he displeased? He, yeah, he looks, he looks like he's losing his shit a little bit. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So that's a great thing, Steve. Anyone else who wants to call with suggestions what on this? Guy fucking wants First, to yeah, what's going on? What what's going on? Maybe in front of the band. Why? The no, band. that's not the point, man. Who's making that call? By Dave? No, no, no. The callers run this show tonight. This is so cool. The people tonight. Steve from Pennsylvania wants Mimi right here. Shannon, do you care if they can't see us? No. We get enough fucking FaceTime. It's Mimi's night tonight, baby. It's Mimi's night. I don't care if every shot is marked by spinning hula hoops. <laughs> This is JD's nightmare, okay? Go, Mimi, go! All right, this let's go to no Kasek in Ohio, nightmare. our own friend, our own friend This is my... Okay. Hey, Kasek, how you been? Good, okay, how are you? Pretty good. It's nice to know that JD is apparently very truly displeased with how this show is going. <laughs> A list of demands. Excuse me. <laughs> a list of yeah, demands. I, I we'll apologize demands. Uh, that, that I am uh, not continuing the, uh, the streak Pennsylvania callers right now. Go for it. That's okay. okay. Yeah, pet, uh, you, well, you Rust Belt. You still got the Rust Belt actually going on. I don't have any yeah. headphones. <laughs> 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 one headphones. One so what do we want to talk about tonight, Kasek? Any other uh, suggestions on how to do it? I figured since you weren't planning anything for the show, I wasn't planning anything for this call, so I got nothing. More people to join the kingdom of J.D. Amato. So you got nothing to say. And we have to present ourselves as though we are the true and a call that you are true saying from the start will go nowhere. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Let's exactly. go ahead and see how JD reacts in that little corner if we just ride this one out. <laughs> Kasek, let's gonna just ride this one out. You got nothing to say, and we all know this is going nowhere. I ain't even going to try to salvage it. Can we just try and be as silent as we can oh, yeah. for like a minute? Dead air. Dead air. Dead air for a minute. Just me, me. Dead okay. air for a minute. Everybody Starting just, now. Viewers at home, just watch JD as we are dead air. Ooh, can we have ring pops? Oh, ring pops. Okay, ring pops. That works. Amish pretzels? Amish pretzels from ShopRite. Great. 
Like 138 of a bag. And we want our box bigger. <laughs> that should be one and a half. The joke is already second. over. We're going to continue it for 40 more seconds. Tell them that we want weapons. I can't hear your say you have a gas mask on. We want at least... I think we should have two of our points be that we want the box to be bigger. Yes, two of the points be our box should be bigger. Well, they shouldn't be back to back. Yeah, no, it's like yes. number two and number like seven. Number two and seven will be that our box is bigger. Oh, yeah, okay. You want them to be the picture inside like our box? Like yes, they should be the picture inside our picture. Are they listening to us? No. There ain't nothing you can do about it, Amato. Oh, there's a new there ain't nothing you can do about it, oh, Amato. Uh, Welcome. Rob, are you joining our kingdom? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I think are you a traitor? Are you a traitor? We need something to be our Screening process. We're going to do Hold on, we need a screening process. process. He might be a traitor. Hold on. No, I believe Rob. Sam, pat him down. I'm not doing this. That's what he has bad news. Okay. All right, so number one, more people to join Jay. He's okay, what's the bad news? Yes. I, it says, it's funny bigger. that Chris yes. Chris thinks JD's uh, twisting in pain when he's when he's really building a goddamn screen. dynasty. Five, and this is making his case right. stronger. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so the fans, not into us messing with JD, actually very supportive yeah. of his contribution Sam, to the show. Well, they think they're planning something in the other room. What? Why don't we cut the, the, we cut the other room off? Will, oh, I'm real scared. We will. Oh, wait! Ladies and gentlemen, our old friend, the ghost of Macho Man Randy Savage, is back. Long time no see. Long time no see, man. How you doing? Oh, thank you so much. I brought you something, Chris. What just happened? Oh, they fell. Oh, the, guy who was, the guys who were facing the wrong way have fallen. JD, that's a real insurance liability, man. That's a real insurance liability. But yeah, let's not do that. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Macho Man, I'm sorry. Sorry. That so was crazy. I just came from the ghost world. That's the craziest shit I ever seen in my life. How y'all doing? Good? We all know I'm the demon of that ass. Ghost of that pussy, Macho Man Randy Savage. Y'all know I was a porn star before I died, and now look at me. Still fucking bitches in the afterlife. I'm working on some new videos. I've got a video coming out called Figure Four Dick Lock. It's pretty good. <laughs> Y'all grind at it, but you gotta see it. It's got a good story. <laughs> but that's not why I'm here tonight, Chris Gethard. It's Gethard. Mr. Chris Gethard, I'm it's here for another one. <laughs> now y'all know, it's Gethard. Now y'all know, <laughs> in the afterlife, it's hard to find other pornographic actors like myself. Oh, oh no. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard, but you know what? Recently, someone has been brought right to here. my attention that well, okay. you'll see his bulge. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, the ghost of the ultimate warrior! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn! 
<laughs> now, Mr. Gavin, would you watch? Uh... Jamie Armada. Man, what the hell is going on oh, here? JD tried Jaden. to have people invade Shannon and immediately stopped him. JD! 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 It's too Bethany! Hey man, we trying to do a normal show over here! Hey, wait! Oh god. JD's! Why are you doing this during the funniest thing this show has done in months? Why did you choose to do this now in the middle of the funniest bit we've had in months? <laughs> So, Ghost of the Ultimate Warrior, you're saying your name, your dick is named now and forever after our director, J.D. Amato. Yeah! <laughs> it will walk the earth with J.D. Amato, and it will direct better than J.D. Amato has ever directed! <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. That's some good shit, man. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. Okay. We... Hey, man. Snap into the slim dick. Hey, thanks, man. Good night, y'all. We really. Now we have a group of JD people trying to chant Armada. JD Armada. That's a fire hazard, right? That is a fire doing. hazard. You're not allowed to be there. Oh, Bethany has also treat. joined them. I don't like that one bit. And yeah. Bethany, there will be repercussions. Just, I just tricked them. I just, tri I just tricked them. It's Who's not next on the phone? Shh. I just tricked them. It's not a fire hazard. It's definitely not a fire hazard. <laughs> We've had people go up there all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I will say this. JD's making great efforts to fuck with us, and Shannon, you are dominating at every turn. Oh, my God. They tried coming this way. I just put my hand on his chest. He's like, oh, OK, we'll go back. <laughs> Everything he's tried, you just tell them no. <laughs> OK, who's on the phone right now? Everything's out of order. Phone call. You got this. You got yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on one second. None of you. Just kidding. This guy waited forever to call. We're gonna wait. Even none of you feel excited about doing this. I can tell none of you. Hey, that's how he is. Talk to, talk to us about this. You're saying he's, a, he's micro. We had to write a list of demands together. Do you, yeah. None of you care about this. I care. I, care. I want my no, you don't. I have oh. headphones on that. I just see screen on that. Like, all the how many, how many of you guys right? are like into comedy, maybe want to do comedy professional at some, pl like, some point? All right, you're doing a bad job right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking over each other. It's like the, wow, bit's, the bit's not clear. Wow. You're just like repeating a Shannon pattern. Shannon giving There's notes. There's no justification but as to what you're doing. But whose fault do you think that is? Do you think that's these people's no, fault? No, it's JD's fault. Do you say think maybe JD led these people astray? Definitely. <laughs> if he's, you were one made... of these people, would you keep listening or would you just I enjoy the show? I would not listen to JD. I'd be like, you Don't know, let me. To this, <laughs> I would say. He said this would happen, <laughs> and then he yeah, said to read the list of demands. So oh, we shall. We one, we want more people to join our Wait, what are you doing? Two, we want a pair of pencils. No, no, no. Specifically for me. Three, no, no, no. ice cream. Plug that back Four, in. Amish pretzels from ShopRite. No, no, there are no, only no. one that they need a bag. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like you guys. I, I like what it. you're going for, but this stinks. <laughs> I feel we gotta I move feel. on. We're going back to the phones. This is one of Let's JD's like, secret yeah. shows. Yeah. 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 Let's go, Paul. Yeah. We gotta get together. Yeah. Yeah. Tell yeah. them yeah. everything that is going to Who's on the phone right now? Who's on the phone right now? Hello? Yeah, JD's Armada will not be a thing. I'm sorry, guys. Let's go to the phones. <laughs> Who's this? Hello, this is Chris. Chris in California, welcome to the show. How you doing? Good, how are you guys? I'm good. JD keeps trying to rest control of the show back, and Shannon keeps just destroying it. Hot Dog okay. is just in this room, which is weird, because he's directing the show. Hot Dog, why are you in here? Oh, Hot Dog. If Hot Dog's asking for... OK, oh, Hot Dog said that? Hot Ooh. Dog's our director, Mimi Hot Dog Art. Too strong. Okay, we thought that was coming from JD. So Mimi over Come there, right? JD, we the band is something better. I can tell. I can tell they okay. hurt all your Great. confidence. Let's do it. Chris no. from California. No. I can tell. I didn't, didn't Chris in California, what do you want to talk I, about tonight? Didn't I warn you? That uh, can I ask the human fisher question? Yeah. Of course. Oh, they were gonna. They were going to try uh, to stomp this. Pac Man out. versus Packing Peanuts. Ooh, Pac Man versus Packing Peanuts. <laughs> human fish who wins? 
packing peanuts. Wow, why'd you say it like that? No one JD's said not here. <laughs> awesome. Anything else you want to talk about, Chris, in California? Uh, I wanted to know if the man behind the plant could tell a knock knock joke. Oh, the man behind the plant. I noticed he's back there with a lady behind the plant tonight, too. Hubba hubba. Man behind the plant. Chris from California wants you to tell a knock knock joke. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Immediately. Um, okay, uh, great. Uh, knock knock. He chose to send Who's there? To my room. Uh, B. Make that not with the show. B who? Uh, behind you, there's a ghost. Oh, he's back. The man from the islands, Vacation Jason, is here, ladies and gentlemen. I have returned. I love your haircut. Yeah, Thank you. Man. I went through a cave and it sliced my hair off. It's very Miami. Thank you. I don't know if that's a compliment. Well, I'm here to tell you guys something. You're going about it all wrong. This episode's called JD's Nightmare. I know what'll make his nightmare, but it ain't me. It's my old persona, the master of terror. What? So, JD, if you're listening, get ready. This is not what we discussed, Jason. I don't remember discussing anything. Exactly. What is the master of terror? <laughs> it is a persona I hide deep within my psyche. <laughs> and I only reveal it when it's time to terrify the man in charge. So, so sit back so good. and let me chill your bones with a terrifying tale. Do you want to sit in his polka dot chair while you do it? Yes. <laughs> This taps into one of my things. No, I no, know. sit in it. Sit in it. That if we want, if we want to sit tap in it, you fucking chaos. freak. <laughs> It was a dark and stormy night. It was a full moon. And there was a, a, a coconut with that looked like a skull. And a werewolf carrying a surfboard to the sea. And there was a zombie eating a big watermelon. When you went up to the attic of the house, is that there was a ghost. Why someone goes and does some tanning? You would. I feel like this bit would kill in a right. special ed class. <laughs> the master of terror. This is basically just the beast masturbator. Is it really? It's really close. <laughs> It's really close. <laughs> really? It's pretty close. You're talking about zombies it and ghosts. It doesn't want us to have like that religious edge to it. Which is why we work on the show, because he can be in control on camera. You want to just hang out while we take calls, Jason? And now we Master are of terror oh, does. <laughs> okay, let's go to Connor so, in New York. Connor, welcome to the show. Hey, Chris, how's it going? It's good. You're here with Shannon and, and Murph and, and the human fish and the master of terror. The master of yeah. terror. Yeah. Okay, uh, Connor, what do you want to talk about? Not that funny. We can do <laughs> I love it, Connor. I love it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. I, I think uh, Hot Dog should direct every episode. <laughs> really? How's Hot Dog doing? Because we can't see how are his cuts, how's his rhythm, and his timing. Is that Chris's reaction right now would be like, you pussies back down. <laughs> What's going on, Connor? What do you want to talk about? Um, I don't know. Uh, more Hot Dog. I more think there should be more hot dog on the show. More hot dog all the time. I agree, man. Hot yeah. dog's the best. Little, little less JD, a little more hot dog. Ooh, I like this. I like this trend that's developing. Thank you, Connor, in New York. Let's go through a bunch of calls. Let's get Justin from Texas. Justin, how are you? Uh, hi. I've got... Hi. I, I, let's I have a computer. Uh, okay. Are you going to tweet at it? You get that? Yeah, we're here, man. The floor is yours. Oh, okay. What's the chat room saying about this situation? Yeah, uh, I want to talk about South by Southwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, South by Southwest. We were there. Were you there? Oh, yeah. I was at the show. Oh, nice. Yeah. That was the I, most dangerous physical situation uh, I put myself in for the show. Yeah. I ate ice cream off of you. You ate ice cream off of me. My body was covered yeah. in burns after that. No joke. Yeah. I saw him on Tumblr. 
Okay. Yeah, Howie can vouch for me. My elbow was covered in blisters and shit. It was really horrible. It was the worst <laughs> idea I've ever had. The ice cream was good. The ice cream was good? Yeah, it was great. That's good. All right. <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about, Justin? What side? Oh, yeah. I saw uh, Connor, uh, Riley, and Noah on the street after South by Southwest, and I said hi. Were they nice? <laughs> yeah, they were nice. That's cool. Yeah, generally when we go on the road, we're pretty nice to people. Which one would you say is the weirdest one based on your in-person interaction? Great question. As, as a, a, a Q&A for our fans, in case they ever meet Connor, Riley, or Noah, who was the weirdest? Well, I, I said hi to uh, Connor and Riley, but I didn't say hi to Noah because he was intimidating. Uh huh. Uh huh. He gets that. He gets that. So, so Noah was intimidating. So you really talked to Connor and Riley. Who was weirder out of Connor and Riley? Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, I guess Connor. Yeah. Yeah. And can, you can vouch in person. How would you describe his eyes? JD's writing Dead. a letter. <laughs> I would as well. Oh, oh on camera, oh, Connor Atlas. On camera, oh, Connor Atlas. I'm so sorry. I want you to win so bad. I want you to win so bad. He sh he, it's true, though. He does have very intense eyes. Justin, gr great call. Thank you for the call. Let's go to Doug in Canada. Doug, thank you for the call. How are you? Welcome to the show. Hi. <laughs> What's the story, Doug? Say Doug, what's Hello. going on, man? What do you guys think? I Hello. <laughs> hey, He's Doug. doing a call and response to his computer. Doug, what are you doing? We are watching the Chris. Hot Dog's very mad at you, Doug. Sure. Doug, why are you doing this? It's a two-hand beast. Okay, Bro. shut up. <laughs> shut up. This is... Not, not great. Doug, what is the story? Just talk to me, man. Doug, do you have to be doing this? Well, Doug. Can I just go to one more call before we get back to our great band tonight? Because it's an old friend, Mike from Cornell, the coolest man we know. Mike, how you doing? Chris, what do you think about all this? Mike, how you been, man? I've been good. That's Hanging great. In there. That's good, man. I want to talk to you for real after we come back from our musical guest. Did you see our musical oh. guest before? No. Well, I heard the first song. It was dandy. You liked it. Dandy. I, you, are, you are a fucking wordsmith, Mike. You always have been. <laughs> I'll take that. Sure. All right, Mike, would you like to introduce our band for their second act? Uh, Field Mouse. Would you like to introduce Field Mouse? <laughs> Field Mouse. There we go. Yeah. Welcome back. Do it up. Field. Introduce them, Mike. Call them out. Uh, how elaborate do you want it? What's that? How elaborate do you want it? How elaborate? How elaborate. Yeah, elaborate. Tell everybody, yeah, tell everybody get up and dance because they're about to come back. Get up and dance, have a great time, get your groove thing, shake your groove thing, give it up for feel. <laughs>
a wonderful performance. Thank you guys so much for being here. <coughs> okay. Just talk about how that was wonderful. You just Fred from Honolulu, how you doing, man? Yeah. Okay. How's New York yeah, treating you? Now. What? We, Why are you being shy? <laughs> You're on TV I'm right now. Aloha. Honolulu, okay. Aloha. Shit. Did you hold that microphone the entire time? <laughs> yes, it feels like uh, oh, oh god. <laughs> it looks like a hard oh, cock spooky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, man. Hard cock spooky. <laughs> spooky. <laughs> so make a jip of that. Hard cock spooky. Hard cock spooky. <laughs> Riley Solander. Don't say Master, Master of Terror. No. Don't say Mickey. No. Halloween is my favorite. Someone holiday. please make a gif of that. Hard cock spooky in quotes. Riley, Riley Solander. <laughs> please. And spread it around. Let's go to Paul in DC. Paul, welcome oh, to the show. Oh god. Oh no. Back, fucking guesser. What's up, man? What's up, my man? How are you? <laughs> I'm none doing of, good. None of I you speak to... during this phone call. Do not speak. Wait till after the call. Uh, Paul, uh, talk to me here. What's up, man? Let's talk. You sound like a dude who's got a lot to say. Oh, I just I discovered the show in February. And I just want to thank all of you, you, Dan, and Merv, everybody. Just I love your show. It's helped me so much. And uh, I'm going to be I'm. Driving up to New York on the 30th. I actually talked to Hallie the other day on Facebook. Oh, that's crazy. That's awesome. Wait, I, it's not the instrument I thought I had in my mouth. That's awesome. Paul, <laughs> Paul none of you speak until after the call. Do you not disrespect the phone calls. None of you are allowed to speak until after the call. So, Paul, how'd you yeah, find the show? Okay. So uh, no, no, just, not I was until after the call. The Paul. I was listening. I was listening to uh, Pete oh, Hall's no. library that you made a weird podcast. Oh, well, Germany. it should be. And, uh, Wait, Beth, it's, Beth, it's really Beth, something Beth, that you just really resonate call. with me. I just call. love uh, What's that, Paul? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. JD's minions are trying to interrupt Paul. Start over? Yeah. I, uh, I found you on uh, Pete Holmes' You Made It Weird podcast. Oh, Pete Holmes. I was Holmes. listening to my way through the library. Pete Holmes, something great guy. Really Pete right. Holmes, he's a great guy, but he is scared to fight me, Paul. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, this is getting Now I have to take it. It's not. It's not. The Master of Terror is having several mini strokes. Master of Terror having strokes. No, because I asked you to not. We want to talk to Paul on the phone. You're just going to talk to Paul till the show's over. Yeah, because we don't want to hear from J.D. You should read the letter. You should read the letter. I'll read the letter and see. I'll read the letter and see. Ooh, Your computer's broken. No, it's not. I broke it. Read it out loud. No, JD's trying to insert himself into it. No, and I don't know why you joined his team. Because the chat rats told me to. Passive aggression. <laughs> the Asian rats. The Asian rats. Because we still believe in chaos. Witches and wizards and everything <laughs> wizards. <laughs> That's all good. Am I still here? <laughs> Who are we talking to right now? Paul. Hey, Paul. Paul, Paul what's yeah, up? Yeah, I've been binge watching the show like it's Breaking Bad, man. I love it. That's cool. How many awesome. episodes deep are you? <laughs> uh, I'm on 36 right now. Oh, that's cool. Where's the that at? Of the beast. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so it's. <laughs> Centimeters, your uh, haunted spooky cop is. <laughs> right, Riley Solander? Yes, I am a tiny <laughs> So, Paul, episode 36, what is that? What, what episode is 36? What, what is episode 36? It's the one I'm about to watch. Right, so which is the one you watched most recently? <laughs> oh, shit. All right, uh, Paul. There's some serious acting going on behind you. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's go to Madison in New York. Spun Madison, hello. Him. Titties jiggle as you cry. Cry. <laughs> What was that, Madison? Impact, but my favorite one quiet, was please, quiet, please, Madison. What's that? What's going on, Madison? Did someone tell you to do this? Let's go to Joe in Ohio. Joe. Hey. Hey, what's up? What hey, do you want to talk about? Hello? What do you want to talk about? Oh, uh, I think we're about ready to find out that JD's Hannibal. JD's who? Zooming in to him. He's coming in. I think JD's Hannibal. I keep zooming in. It's very dramatic. Oh, uh, Joe, it's got real. Only one person has kneeled down. Out of all of them, one kneeled down. This, this guy was the most oh, enjoyable. Oh, they're taking him away. By far. Master of Terror, can I borrow your mic? 
for JD? If you do. <laughs> Hi, JD. How you doing, JD? I'm not doing great. This show is my nightmare. This is my absolute nightmare. This Why show. is that? Why is that? Because we found ourselves in a situation that I believe to be my exact nightmare. <laughs> Connor's making camera cuts. Con Connor's making camera cuts. Oh, this is just my nightmare. I hate this show. Well, come hang out up here, Jake. You know what? I don't want Because honestly, here's. You know, you know what? Let's hash this out. So you made an aggressive move towards me by putting these people in my room, and then I, I said, yes, let's do it, and then you immediately turned on it. No, because the whole thing was we were going to mess with you. You don't get to mess with us back tonight. <laughs> no, see. That's the whole episode. But I listen, I'm, I'm, you. I'm. You didn't I'm, learn a thing, my man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard, I'm having a hard week, and I just didn't want to give up control tonight. And it was really hard for me to do that. And then you gave me a small window in which I could assert control back, and I felt like, I don't know, let's go for it. But and then, then instead of instead of it working, it turned into ruin the show too. And I just, you know, and then it was I, better I than ruin the show. One, it was though. not that much better. It was, it was better. Ruin the show, boo. <laughs> <laughs> The warrior was really funny. No, you know what? Like, I just feel like this whole thing's been a wash, and I, 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 I might, I might delete I, I the episode. It. I might delete it. I you might, might delete not, it. I might act like something technically went wrong <laughs> oh, and no, not no, ever no, post no, no. it. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. You look great in that sweater. No, though. you know what? I don't want any of this. I don't want this. I don't want this pity. It's, I'm just. Everybody. I just. It, this whole thing is unraveled in a way that I don't like, and I, you know, it's just. This is knock, my nightmare. Knock. I don't want it. No, you know what? Boo, no shit. <laughs> no, this is a good joke. Knock, knock. I have Who's a good there? joke. Who's there? A brand new day tomorrow. <laughs> a brand new day tomorrow. Who? There doesn't need to be anything else. <laughs> what? Hold the chair. Put him in the chair. Do not do it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. The field now. Thank you, everybody. Call in.